Well, it's good, geezer gang. We're coming to you live, but not live, from a very cold and muddy common in London as we're doing a park we're run. Not in the race. They're all walking away. They're all about to start without us. Both hands and run. So what we just thought we'd show you is how our weekend routine basically goes. It's a bit more laid back, a bit less structured than the weekday. And we'll show you what the weekday's like soon as well. But yeah, it's a bit less structured. It's an average one if we've not got any festivals or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, normally festivals are the things that are taking up a lot of weekends. We're going to a festival tomorrow, actually. So yeah, that's why I don't really have much in the way of structure. But what we do like to do is start the day off with a park run. Everyone's hanging their stuff on the tree. <laughs> you get lots of people at this park run. Hundreds, like four or five hundred people. And Bob's going to win. If winning is coming like six minutes behind the winner, then yeah. I'll stay back with Jojo. Oh! oh. <laughs> Then hit the tree. I'll stay back with Jojo and Bob's gonna try and win. I'm not gonna try and win, I'm just gonna try and get a good time and get ahead. Okay, I'm gonna try and win. Let's go. Daddy fell over. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Well done. That's a good one. Yeah, there's about 500 people running here. You did really good. There's mummy. Hey, mummy. Sorry we accidentally abandoned you. You look cozy. So what happened, Daddy? I had a fight with a muddy puddle and lost. <laughs> I saw loads of people slipping as yeah, well. Yeah, so over the backside there, it's like really icy, wet and muddy. and where people just run on it frequently, it just cuts all up. Your and hands think, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first thing that goes down, isn't it? Everybody slips. Down. Yeah, it's fine. I slip. Look, whoopsie daisy. Yeah. I wish I'd made it look that good. Do you know what? Because it was icy and like you could barely run it anywhere. Yeah, I think what it is is that only when you get to it, you realise how slippery it is. If you slow down and be a bit more calculated, which I was last week. All good though. I think I need a shower, maybe. I'm not sure. Nah. Nah. It's not like this first day. It's like you've got a new tattoo. Did you like it? Yeah, I like it. It looks lovely. Should we try and write a word in it? No. no it's not, I've got a V. It'll do your skin good. It's got nutrients in it. I'll go back. But yes, it looks like there's a Superman. Oh, That's it does. Right. Well, what can I say? Should we go home for breakfast? Juice. Juicing. Run to my car, Daddy. Oh, your car. She always do this. I mess up saying which is ours, and she's like, my car. You've got mud everywhere. Naughty, Daddy. <laughs> Shut up. Let's go inside. Nice, Daddy. Have a nice, Daddy. Piggy wig. Yeah. Yeah, nice piggy wig and Daddy. No, don't step across there. You got money for oh, You get out oh, your side. Good morning. Hello. How's the kitties? Oh, look at that one just lying on their own, chilling. This is so cool just to be around. Where's Jamie going to sleep? So we were just sitting here with uh, the kittens and we noticed this little one on the left here hasn't been moving. You know, we move this cover just to see if it provokes them, but they're not moving at all. The, the chest isn't moving from breathing, so. So we think they've died? They've died during the night or something, we don't know. It's really hard to know because they've been warm in here, they've got pipes there. They've all been huddled together. When I went to bed last night, they're all huddled together. So maybe one of them, they could have got smothered and suffocated. I don't know, I mean, I guess it's different with humans, isn't mm -hmm. it? Like you get around the clock care, you get doctors and everything. I read it on the internet that it does happen. And it yeah, happened when, it I, happened when I had a cat years ago. Mm -hmm. She had four and then one died. But you just don't know why though. That's yeah, I don't know. Thing, isn't it? I don't know. And we don't know how to move her. We're just going to have to do it. I mean, I know she's there feeding and that, but it's just like, she's a mother, do you know what I mean? That's her baby. I know, it's sad, I know. I'm not feeling like for me, I'm like, oh, it's sad. It's just, she sits there, she has to carry on feeding three of her babies while... But maybe we should bury the baby later. Yeah. This is the thing, as much as I think, okay, you know, we need to bury them and kind of send them off with love. I don't want to really be taking her baby away from her whether they're dead or not so i think we have to though I know, bob i think we have to i just hope she doesn't show any resistance and she just understands we're just trying to care mm. no no they're not moving yeah if you move the blanket yeah we haven't touched them or any no, like no, we've no, been no, doing everywhere every... near it could be that she's got suffocated because she did accidentally lay on one at one point she might have been or they might have been the last one out because sam said three came out very quickly and then one a lot longer mm. so she might have been in like the birthing canal for a long time or mm. she might have had problems that we just can't understand you like i said with humans you have all this observation don't you yeah. 
So I'm all showered now. I've just been trying to figure out. We've been looking up what the best thing is to do with the little kitten. I think about it, obviously just burying them. And it's only if cat's mere kind of almost allows us, but yeah, we'll figure that out. But just trying to carry on with the day, really. We don't normally do any sort of homeschooling routine on a weekend because, like I said, if we're going to festivals and stuff like that. It's never uh, consistent. But he wants to do reading, and we pretty much do reading every day. Reading never seems like a homeschooling thing to do. It's just something he's always enjoyed. So he's asked to read a load of books, so we're going to go through them. It's good that I'm reading this one with him because Katie normally gets a bit out of control with him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know it. <laughs> Whereas I'm going to be completely sensible. I just can't help laughing at these books. They're, they're good books. You're a terrible they're funny. person of calming him down for bedtime with reading books. I just <laughs> laugh. I laugh at so much, so many of the pictures. Show them one of the, the picture in there. Yeah, there's a situation where all the animals try and get in bed with one guy and it all kicks off and they get squashed. Yeah, and, flying and out. it's like... They start squaring up to have a fight. The and... fox's <laughs> fo fox is full. Like, he's like... It's the fox's fault. Yeah, the fox starts it all. Okay. And then and then ends up at the bottom. We don't have to give the gang the whole rundown of why you get so silly, okay? You start giggling at it just from behind the camera. Are you really together, yeah? <laughs> Look at the one with the slippers. Hello. Hello. So now just chilling out into the day. JoJo's broke up the Monopoly game and it's going very, very well. And I'll tell you what, what I like about this game that so many games we play is that even though we're not deliberately doing like homeschooling stuff or learning stuff on the weekends, he ends up doing it all anyway through games. Like he's been doing so many subtraction with change and money exchanges. Like the amount of things he paid for was a hundred when it's like only 25 and he's got 25, but he likes to figure it all out. So it's good that we're having that enjoyment. Okay, I want to buy these 220. I'm going to pay 250 what's my change to me? 30? 30. Give me 30 from the bank. Now! <laughs> He's a man in demand, he knows what he wants. So Jojo, you just sat down and have a bit of porridge, standard, and you're watching Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So yeah, we're gonna move the kitten. Obviously, when we go to move them, if Katsumir reacts in a way that makes us feel like she doesn't want us to move the kitten, we won't. But if she seems okay, and she seems maybe at peace, or have made her peace with this, then we will just go ahead. Because we think, you know, all the other kittens are climbing all over and the body could already start decomposing. So we just feel for all of them there, it's best to have the kitten out of the way. It was just important just to get Jojo settled first, just so we can do this and give our full attention to this. And he's content at the same time. So you can see that there's there's three of them there still active and one over there that hasn't moved at all does i'm going to use this pillowcase to slowly grab right just go in she'll probably be aware of you when you come in so let's just see how she reacts so that might be what's happened because right now there's one that's right under her and i'm thinking maybe that happened to this one maybe this one was suffocated You're slowly moving the kitten away you got the kitten all right darling. well done girl we're sorry Okay, she seems content, she knows. I think it's really hard for us to comprehend because as someone who's like yourself, you've had three kids but separately and mm. to have four and maintain them all by yourself, feed them, make sure they're warm, cozy. I mean, just then we saw how easily one of them can get caught underneath and she wasn't doing anything we had to kind of intervene and, the, the, and move the blanket. It was squeaking, the squeaks were getting fainter and fainter and that, that might be what happened. Poor baby, it's a delicate life. I'll take them down to the garden, okay? Well, we'll do it together, we'll do it with Jojo. What are you doing there, Mummy? Making a box? Yeah, I'm making a box to put the kitten in. It just seems wrong to just put the kitten straight in the soil like that. Mm, I know. I'm just feeling really sad. Like, I really hope we didn't do anything wrong. I know. I don't think we did right now. You just never know, do you? And all we can do is move on from this the best we can. And if there's anything we can learn, learn from it. I'm trying to be happy, you know, for Jojo's sake. Well, for everybody's sake, but it's just really difficult. I oh, know. I yeah. always get so upset with animals. I don't know why. I get more upset with animals dying than I do with humans. And I don't know why. Animals are just more innocent in general though, aren't they? I think this is alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got this little box, we're going to put the kitten in there and take them down to the garden. We put quite a downer on the day. In fact, this video was supposed to be just showing you what a typical weekend day can be like for us. And But this doesn't obviously happen. Yeah, this so, isn't a typical day in the life of ours, but things it's, can spring up any day. Exactly. I feel like we can't bury them without giving them a name. What? You want to call the kitten Lisa? Lisa. Lisa. Okay. Lisa, it's Nisa. 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 Yeah. Okay. Lisa. With an N, okay. Yeah. Bye, bye, Nisa. Put the lid over. Do you want to put the lid over? Do you want to carry the box? You want me to carry the box? Okay.
You okay? All right, let's say goodbye. You said some really nice words there, Bob. Yeah, I, I just wanted the camera off just because I just felt like I needed it off just to put my time and energy in. I'll be honest, we don't know exactly what to do with this situation. This is just what we felt. This isn't a right way or anything of how to deal with the death of an animal, but it just felt right. I wanted to return them to the earth, bless the earth, put our love and energy back into the earth and hope whatever's happened to that little soul that was in that body for that short amount of time has moved on to a place of happiness. It's hard, you know, I mean, God, with the life we lead, we know so much about all the suffering that happens of animals, but when you have it right in your home, where this is, you know, our home is a sanctuary of love and security, and to have a living being die in your own home, it's, it's hard. Can you go now? Yeah, we go up, mate, come on in. So we just come back in, taking a minute out. I mean, we don't want this to be like the saddest vlog ever, but it's important to be open about your feelings. It helps you move on from that grief, if you know what I mean. And yeah, we've just been observing the kittens, just making sure that none of them are getting caught under cats in here, but they yeah. all seem to be sorting themselves out quite well. Well, we're just worried the whole time now. It's not very healthy though, just to be like that, is it? <laughs> no, it's like when you have a baby of your own and you just worry the whole time. Yeah, no, I guess you just want to sit back and let nature take its course, don't you? and then yeah. we do what we can. And Kat Samir seems happy. She, I don't know if she knows what's happened or... No, she doesn't seem any different. She went out to get some food, didn't she? She probably mm. went back to the other place and came here. Oh, we haven't told the lady yet what's happened. So yeah, the lady that Katsumir lives with normally, when she's not pregnant, if you hadn't seen that video, you can check it up in the corner, but we told her yesterday about uh, Katsumir having the kittens. And she's gonna come and collect them all in a couple of days, but it's just having to tell her that one of them didn't make it. Right, so moving on with the day, we just got nipped to Lidl's. We don't have a dedicated shopping day, it's just, oh, food's run out, go and get some food. And Jojo is like, oh, I'm going to take over the shopping and do one of his uh, Jojo shopping experiences. But that's not happening today. He Jojo, wants... you can take over the shopping, but you have to buy what we tell you to buy. As well, yeah. We need... <laughs> he's, just sh <laughs> he's just shaking his head, no. There's certain things we need. That I'm the boss. You're the boss, are you? Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go, boss man. Monge two, monge two, Rodney. Found a good deal, mummy, have you? Thank you, I'm going to rock it. Those tomatoes are divine. Divine, yeah. divine, divine. Shut up. Acknowledge. Well done, boss man. Is that the last basil? Grab it, uh, no, twice no, no, as much. No, 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 basil. Definitely the last one. About 50 of them, it's definitely the last one. Avadillos. 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 <laughs> have you been seduced by a silly name? Yeah. Armadillo and avocado mixed together. That's right. a combo. I'll do all by myself, shall I? Any more bags? <laughs> she only filmed so she can get away with carrying stuff. Oh, I've got stuff. Look, I've got stuff. I've got two <laughs> cucumbers and two packs of salmon. So we just got back. We had a cut on a rush to get our stuff because we've got someone special coming around the world. They probably think they're special, but you met them before. Each several! Oh, you've got flowers, have you? It's a cake. And chocolate. And bourbons. Yeah. Hello, come in, Shell. <laughs> great to see you. And we already have a normal person here, Adam, as well. This is a, the great guy that looked after Joe the other night. And Katie, you have some fabulous trousers as well. Hello, darling. Me? She gets everything. Oh, thank you. What are we doing, Mummy? Doing these. Corgetti. Corgetti. And then what are you making to go with? What are you doing? Maybe we go a good um, thumbnail. I'm doing like that um, mac and cheese sauce. The one I did for Jojo's videos, recent one. Mm. Put the onion powder in. Good. Now, Cheryl, <laughs> there's your lunch. Neck it. <laughs> what are you making now, Bob? I'm making my pesto. My pesto is the best, though. When I make it, people say, hey, presto. Fast you can't have that. No, it's, it's Cut it with your mouth. Put it on the head, please. That'll be so worth it. You're under the microscope here, Cheryl. So we got courgette noodles, mac and cheese sauce, and some pesto. And you two are just jogging in together. Jojo, what sauce do you want? <laughs> just leaning over and just eating it. You're a guinea pig, aren't you? You're a guinea pig. How are we doing, mummy? Good. I'm really loving these trousers. I really want them for myself, though. You can borrow them if you want. <laughs> borrow, you're not getting them back. You right, Jojo? You managed to use a fork now, rather than plunging your face into the plate. Who actually won, then? Could you both had four there and no one realised? Um, we got glasses. Oh. What was that dancing thing again? Do it again. Oh. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. It's your influence on your nephew. I don't know how many of you actually remember Cheryl. She's been in a few videos. You did, oh, you did a taste test with us, didn't you? And Dexter what was in happened? there as well. <laughs> No, no, get down, get down! Okay. Comment below if you remember Cheryl, and if you like Cheryl. If you don't like her, comment below as well, that's absolutely fine. She yeah. can take it. And I'll find you all and I'll beat you. <laughs> she won't beat you at Connect Four, because she struggled against Jojo. That is weird. 
Why do they have to do the sound as well? Kitty update. They're all good. She's cleaning them at the moment. I should give them all a little cuddle there. So we've got Jamie coming back. Yeah, she needs taken care of as well. We'll put her in there with the kittens. <laughs> She's going to have to check on, check on the babies in the night. The good thing is I think they just, including Katamir, they all just stay put. It's hard because I don't know how conscious she is of if they're caught underneath her or anything else. Yeah, because she's laid on them a few times. Mm. I'm giving Cheryl her uh, birthday card now. It was in December. To, I was away was on holiday. My I was celebrating, when we were celebrating so well on her birthday, we were like, America! Jojo, say goodbye to Auntie Cheryl. Bye bye. Kiss folks. Happy loads. Yeah. Now get out. Thanks for my food. I've eaten most of the avocado in that. <laughs> Bye, Shes. Bye. Bye. So that's the end of our day, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It started off as like a normal day looks like what yeah. a normal weekend day if we haven't got anything to do like what sort of things do we do and sometimes weekends can be a bit more sporadic and unplanned and everything but yeah we wasn't seeing this coming to be honest but i guess that's that just shows what life is like it can spring up all sorts of surprises good and bad and you just have to go with the flow and handle every situation as best as possible just, i just really hope the kittens are i don't think i'm going to sleep well tonight because no. i just i just want to know that they're going to be okay yeah sometimes you make plans and then to it's be... like the universe mm. has other ideas sometimes yeah. yeah maybe to teach you something or guide you somewhere but you just gotta make the best of any situation mm. so thanks for watching this guys i really really appreciate it leave your comments below and if you're new to this channel we'd love it if you subscribed and followed our life our journey we've got lots of fun adventures coming up this year to show you guys and we will see you guys in the next video peace out Thanks so much, guys. Maybe you're watching on laptop, paint the pink poo as well. Aww.